towards what looks to be element 36. No kill gets taken place, but he wants his head and Lou Hardy gets to kill a Milo skill, but it's okay. Many teams are going down. Team 2 sadly gets taken out. Team 6 is taken out with three teams remaining. Zone is moving in slowly. Team 14 is left on the cough here, not being able to go anywhere. No shields in hand. Team 20 jumps on them. They get the knock on the one, but what do you know? Team 11 slash Lou Hardy's team is back at it again, cleaning things up. Team 11, Lou Hardy's team comes in, winning the first match just like they did with last week's game, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be very, very interesting. We actually have a fragment zone taking place. We're going to see tap strafing. We're going to be seeing zipline jumps. We're going to be seeing everything. This is going to be an amazing battle location to see. We have a bunch of teams sitting over here. Team 3, knowing there's a team there. Team 9 is close to them as well. Team 9, notice that there's a team. That Team 3, Team Mega Orange, is to their... It's to the right, but I don't think Team 9 have noticed them. It looks like we have Coffee here noticing there's a two players to his left. So they're going to take some pop shots towards each other. Looks like we have Condify the Bangalore on the on the charge rifle. Gets a knock onto Sam's from what it looks like. And then the last player on that dude's team, Bangalore, he's just going to run away. So we can try make it to the final zone here. He sadly has to run away, leaving every bit of faith he has for his teammate. With the Bangalore ultimate going down for what looks like to be from Condi Fly. It looks like we have Mega Orange setting up in the corner here. Thinking there was a full fight about to take place, but nothing went on. Team 9 is still down. It looks like we have the Bangalore here, Trod, sitting in a corner here, trying to heal up, recover, maybe possibly get the revive down to his teammate, Bahasams. Looks like we have Coffee looking around for that final kill. But what it seems to be, it looks like Condi Fly here has spotted somebody. With Trod sitting down, with Trod sitting up top and and Sam's down below. Trod is going to try to get the revive, but it's going to be risky with Mega Orange sitting nearby. With all this going on, it looks like we have more teams going down right here at about this area. We have Team 6 looking to be fighting Team 20, unless they just decided to dip out from what it looked like. Team 20 decided to leave. They don't want to really take that fight, which is completely fair. Completely like a good choice to do right there. And finally, Condi Fly gets his kill with the charge rifle onto Sam's, who was knocked. Sadly, True, True could not get that revive off. It looks like Lou Hardy, it looks like Team 11 and Team 12 know of each other's existence. But this is looking very bad for Team 12 because they're left in zone. So what they're going to do is they're going to get the heal off in zone, have the Wraith portal in. It looks like, it looks like Lou Hardy taking some shots towards True. Sadly, Gibby and Cossack go down. Will Lou Hardy get this final kill here for Team 11? And sadly, Team 12 gets taken out. It's just unfortunate. They got left out, caught out of zone. There was not much place they could go there. They tried to hunker down the building, but Chaos's and Lou Hardy's team, they just they just built in together and managed to like custom into a corner. And there was nowhere for them to go, sadly. So that's one team down again. It looks like Team 15 here. We have sitting in, the, in a building trying to play for that final zone. Wanting to fight. They want to get that fight. They want to get into a building. Hunker down. Noticing there's a team here. They take shots. Looks like it's Mummy's team. Mummy takes a few shots towards one. Sadly does not land bullets, but it's okay, though. It's okay, though. But unfortunately, looks like Mummy's team is getting taken out. That was a very nice stick by one of them there. Coconut gets it down, but George gets another. These are two teams we've seen play before. Looking Sears basically one shot. Now we have to get a quick spectate of both these guys. Playing onto that, onto that nice little knockdown shield. They see the Valkyrie coming up from the other team. Team 4 has come into third party, taking over the topper building. Building soon, and if we look at where they are, they're taking the fight with another team. One team on the bottom, one team on the above. Unfortunately, Team 20 here are caught out on everything. And it looks like we have Team... Look like we have the next Team, Team 6, wanting to take the fight. With Portal gone down, they're going for the shots towards them, but Team 20 make it out alive. Noticing the team raccoon is literally down below. Raccoon has moved to the building in zone. Still having no heals whatsoever. He's still taking pop shots. You can tell this guy is bloodthirsty. Even though he has no shields. He has nothing. But he still wants people's heads here. Honestly, insane play from him. I don't know why he's doing this. But he wants that content, you know.
with Raccoon noticing there's two more teams rushing in. He just needs to hide in the corner here. This is a time that you would not want to fight. What looks to be Team 8, Raccoon having to get out of dodge again. Wraith zoom in a way. Realizing Team 20 now want his head. It's all up, it's all up to them. Team 3, Team Mega Orange getting shot from another angle. It's up to Coffee here. Will he be able to do it? He cracks that Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is backing off. Looks like he's playing for Guava's shield here. Taking some shots towards that staircase. Seeing nothing. He gets beamed a little bit here by Team 2. And with him caught in a corner, I don't think there's much he can do. Sadly, Team Mega Orange get taken down there. With five squads remaining. Final zone, ladies and gentlemen. 40 seconds until it moves in. We have Team 2 who have defied all limits and straight up got away with murder, basically. They managed to wipe out a team themselves and then recover, taking over a building, get a full city setting up. Honestly, crazy what Team 2 has been doing. But now we're back here with Team 36, Element 36, sorry. Looks like the new player, Natalie Packet. I've never seen this player, I don't think. I could be completely wrong. But it looks like they want the head of Team 2 here with many shots going out. Sadly, that entire team gets cracked. Coconuts goes down. A trade go takes place here. Looks like Team 2 is left with only tank remaining. I don't think he'll have time to get a heal off here. But he's trying to get away from the zone. Trying to get himself into a corner here to maybe recover to take the fight. With Element 36 trying to get that recover. While zone moves in slowly, they have the armor swap potential. But we don't know we don't know what's gonna happen here because we have two people up on this top section. We have many players here. Looks like Lou Hardy's team taking the middle cover here. They're probably in the best position to win this. But this is Apex Legends, ladies and gentlemen. Anything can go down. With looks like Team 6 on his own, hearing movement from behind, takes some pop shots towards what looks to be element 36. No kill gets taken place. But he wants his head, and Lou Hardy gets the kill on Milo skill. But it's okay. Many teams are going down. Team 2 is to get taken out. Team 6 is taken out. With three teams remaining, zone is moving in slowly. Team 14 is left on the cuff here. Not being able to go anywhere. No shield in hand. Team 20 jumps on them. They get the knock on the one, but what do you know? Team 11 slash Lou Hardy's team is back at it again. Cleaning things up. Team 11, Lou Hardy's team comes in. Winning the first match just like they did with last week's games, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, you've done it again, just like last week. <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much. Honest to God, I'm not going to lie to you. When you lost uh, Tad there on the bridge, I got very worried for you. But you somehow managed to bring it back? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> Please tell me what was going through your mind there, considering you were surrounded by many teams and somehow managed to get away with that like that. I mean, I had a little spark of hope when Ted was close enough like to punch him into the zone and i punched him and he his he died mid-air and his box just landed Ooh. Like, the, the thing was he he called he has a respawn beacon so we had like we had to heal up and hold enough mm. hold long enough to rest when and you just hope the team from the building won't push us yeah for when you were when you that was really scary for like you involved like their entire team because when zone was moving in you had at least like four teams on that on one side of fragment pushing in and somehow, Yi managed to prevail there with a team, like, directly below you trying to, like, fight you as well. You had a team on top of the buildings to your right. You had a team behind you, but fortunately, they got taken out by zone. You guys were set up for greatness there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That was, like, set up for, like, beautiful greatness. I'm very, very proud of you guys. Very thank well you. played, honestly. I, uh, yeah, again, thanks. hey, you managed to recreate what you did last week. You better do it again <laughs> next week if you do return. <laughs> because it's kind of obvious why everyone's been running so far today, ladies and gentlemen. They've all been running Watson. They've all been running Catalyst. They've been running Gibbies. We've had basically the same comps on this map. This is the team chat. We're going to be watching these guys paying close attention because these people are getting an interview at the end of the, at the end of the day's match. We're going to see what they're going in. It looks like they're taking the landing towards what looks to be what's this area called again i can't remember launch site that's it team two honestly i'm not gonna lie from what zone's looking like team two is in a very nice spot but right now as you can see they have the nice spot right here but it looks like oh my god the fight of the century team five versus team mega orange it looks like team three slash mega orange coffee the team captain wants to take over the building with the port going down, he backs out. Connie Fly taking some shots in. 
He's still inside the building though. Team 5, Mad Maggie going in, but the Digi threats come out. So it's all smoked up like Snoop Dogg. Coffee gets hit by a bunch of bullets and also gets stopped. Trying to find Nox 1. Gets, onto, gets the knock onto It's Just a Fiction. With Starch Kill coming out, they get to kill on him for that armor swap. Looks like Team 5 want to avenge his teammates' death here. We do plan on seeing what these guys are doing. And the time he said this, Team Lou Hardy takes out Team 6. With them moving in, trying to get this kill onto the person behind the box. Looks like Condi doesn't go down. Condi lives. They run out of ammo. Oh, no. This is not looking good for Team 5. They go for the finisher. Trying to get the reload off and get taken out. Team 5, that is so unlucky. But I'm sorry to admit this. I'm very biased right now towards Team Mega Orange. Very well played, Condi. You know you can't hear me, but you are one lucky person. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> But wait, hold on a minute. While we're saying all this, Team 15, a duo. They want the, they want the smoke. They want to take that fight with Team 3, who is currently resetting themselves right now. With Team 3 fully reset in the building, Team 15 is holding the top of the building. Don't want anybody leaving. Looks like he's showing off that Bangalore heirloom. With them now realizing what there they are, he throws his ultimate inside. I don't think that was part of his plan. They throw his ultimate, but unfortunately, Infinity Leon left with the path. The grapple gets almost taken out, but somehow makes it out alive. Bank Smoke saving him. He gets to the building, but unfortunately, Guava FPS gets the kill. With one team moving in. They're moving in fast and gets that team 15 taken out. Not sure if Valkyrie can ult from where she is now. And from what it looks like is there's nothing in zone here. So we're about to have a fight here. Team two, team three, butting heads again, ladies and gentlemen. But while noise is going down, looks like team two wants to make the rotation now to get into zone and play somewhere safe. While that's all being said, Cuffy's team, team Mega Orange have pushed in. Tank gets taken down by Cuffy. Seer ultimate goes down. Team two hits the nicest shot onto Guava. FPS, I'm so mad I missed that. Candy gets, Candy gets cracked. Guava's the only one down. Team 11, Lou Hardy's team get taken out. It's just up to the Seer on Team 2. He's going to stick the res from what it looks like. Oh, that's that's Condi fly. They get the res. Cuffy goes down. It's up to the Seer. They know there's a team behind them, but oh no, ladies and gentlemen, what looks to be another team coming in. Mummies and Speed's team, they're coming in to third party. Condi not having any of it from what it looks like. Condi trying to delay them so Cuffy can probably get a revive off. He's trying to hold them off. Getting a crack on one side. He gets taken out by Mummy. It's up to Guava FPS here. Knowing there's a team fully behind him. What looks to be Seer manages to get recovered here. But he's going to stick the rest while shots going out. Team 14 taken out by what looks to be Raccoon's team, unfortunately. Speedy Mummy. Very nice there. With the Seer getting to revive onto Tank. Another shot. Why am I missing these shots? Deja is taking Kraber shots left, right, and center and popping off. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I'm missing all of these amazing shots. We did get a glimpse of that no scope, though. So it was quite nice. With a crack going on to the enemy raid, they peek that corner. Speedy gets down, but Mummy goes down. Holy crap. Oh my fucking God. I'm sorry for the language, but oh my God. Team 2 going crazy with a Kraber in hand. Another down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Deja, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but he is on fire with the Kraber. Sadly, since the Kraber is now out of ammo, he can't. He's been dropped down. They have nerfed him because of the Kraber. Team 2 is in a good spot here, taking shots towards Team 1. Team 1 managed to get that revive and recover off. And ladies and gentlemen... What a final zone we have now. I've just realized this final zone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be super interesting. What's going to happen? We have a lava pit below. Team 2 and Team 1 have to make a rotation through a zip line into a Watson fence with teams behind them. This is going to be an interesting game here. With Team 1 taking some shots there. Team 2 gets the full reset. The full reset. They have to move in with zone now. 
they get into a nice safe place to hopefully get an armor swap but they don't have time they have to go now round five zone is hurting With them trying to get onto a little ledge there. Nobody's paid attention to them. I don't think Coconut has enough HP to get... Th That's playable? I did not know that was playable. Oh my god. Team 13 get taken down. Team, or Team Orange sadly lose their main Lobat. Orange himself. But lads, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we have a fight going off right now. Sadly, no armor in that box for him to swap to. He has nothing to do. He almost gets hit by that. With a nice little wingman shot coming out from one of them. They get the finish up onto, onto what looks to be Team 10. Team 10 managing to back off. Getting a recuperation here. Team 2. Someone has just given them a free box. But now they've realized. They've been noticed. There's a singular dude on Team 1. In the building, he drops down. He's left in the crossfire from multiple angles. Team 1 get taken down. Three teams remaining. Team 10, Team 18 taking the fight. One crack goes out. It looks like this is going to be a close fight for the people above. One knock goes down. But it looks like Team 18 do have the upper hand here when it comes to the players. One dude versus them all. Who will win? He goes for the Wraith port. What's his plan here? I think he's going to go for the armor swap. But there's nowhere to really armor swap. He tries to grab it. There was no armor. It sadly gets taken out. Team 2 managed to vault go into somewhere safe. Team 18 above. Sadly, one goes down onto Team 2. Tank drops his ultimate. Coconut last alive. But he can't get any kills. Team 18 being... You guys, what happened? <laughs> They pushed us, and it was such a weird push. We kind of didn't know what's happening. Yeah, we got caught out by that push. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the, uh, I, I, I don't know who it was. I, 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 don't, I don't know if it was... I think it was Fiction, but he went down first, and then I think it was Sim who took the fight with the Bangalore, ran out of bullets, and just started slapping him. Oh, no, that was me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so the problem is, it was the, um, like, they had a Watson thing set up, and it was like the worst place for it, because I could have drilled them, I could have grenaded them, but the Watson fence just Ooh. ruined it all. That, that was, that, yeah, that was, was unfortunate. Yeah. I had a lot of faith in you guys. When you guys, yeah. like, you guys got lucky very, very much at the start because when you guys moved away from launch side, Team 3, Team Mega Orange came in behind you, and then oh. eventually you moved away again it, towards Tree, and then by that time, there was Team 13 and Team 3 sending you guys. So, like, oh, yeah. you guys managed to get away, sit down in a, hunker down in a building, and then, unfortunately, you know, Team 3 came in and sadly took you guys out. They, we also got up really unlucky with the armors. You know, yeah, we you did. You got very, very nice. You got very nice by that, honestly. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do better next game. You, sure. you better do. I had faith. You're more, you're more I, practice at some point. I was watching. Well, I was watching so many. Ma I was watching you guys for the most of that start game, and then I got disappointed. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, let's have a listen in. By the time I said that, you guys were dead. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a fight about her to go down. Let's listen in. And by the time I had the thing up, you were dead. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Let's hope Storm Point goes better now since now. Which is down. And looks like we have Team 13 guy with the Kraber here in Valkyrie. DJ tries to hit back his own raccoon, trying to clear things up. With all this going down, it looks like we have Team 5 taking the fight with Team 9. They need to get this final kill. And oh my god, Sam's here is sitting in the most best place. But I don't think Fiction's realized it. They've all noticed him taking the fight to him. Team 9, they're taking it out. Team 5 is currently wiping things up. But again, it's not over, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Team 5 has been fought by the last remaining player of Team 8, Raccoon. We have one team sitting above, one team sitting in the buildings below. There's teams currently everywhere. It's anybody's game right now. With many, with only three teams that are actually... Sorry, only two teams that are actually full three stacks here. Team 5 and Team... What well, looks to be Team 2. The team we know and love. Okay, this Valkyrie is trying to take the roof. But unfortunately, it's shot from Team 1 general direction. Taking him off the roof. Team 2 knows there's a Valkyrie outside. But he doesn't want to push it. Because there is a singular ultimate there. But as we've said, Team 5 is currently in the best location to be taking these fights. Sadly, giving up a bad location. Fiction gets caught out of area, but 
Luckily, nobody can land their shots. So he gets away with a bit of damage. With Coconut noticing one player sitting below. Raccoon. Team one, team two. These guys are going to go neck and neck here for that final zone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is getting to the wire. This is getting to the end. They get rid of this Valkyrie. Very nice kill to get that armor swap. So they don't have to worry about the heal. But team five back at it again. Stopping everything. Team five and team two, the only teams that are actually three stacks. Team one gets attacked by a team below. They get taken out. Raccoon lives to tell the tale, but team five is there. Team five versus team two, the ultimate fight, the fight that we wanted to see this entire time. We've been we've been hoping for this. Seer ultimate goes down. The seer ult, the seer ult goes down. A lot of utils being used. Team 2 gets a Kraber shot on 1, but looks like so far Team 5 is in the better location here. If only Team 5 had a bit of grenades here, they're chucking everything they can. It looks like we have Quip going up a bit closer here, taking some crack damage onto the enemy Valkyrie. With Tank being very low, and so is Coconut. Coconut goes down. Team 5 wins the game. Let's fucking go, lads. Let's fucking go. Good fucking shit. Good fucking shit, lads. We picked this up. Let's Ladies and gentlemen, Team 5 will hidden be able to get away here and be able to get away with something more. With what looks like Team 10 not be able to find where hidden is. Oh no, unfortunately, Team 4 gets taken out as the first team. That's super, super unlucky for the final game of today. But hey. There's many, many more games to come in the next coming week. So they can always return and make a re-comeback. That's super unfortunate. Sad to say. But with all that being said, let's have a quick look at what Team 3 is doing. Looks like they're just trying to loot up. And honestly, being in down beast as just a three stack, it's quite nice, honestly. Having an entire, entire place to themselves is, is quite nice. A lot of these places having their own little area. And you know who we haven't checked in in a while, ladies and gentlemen? It looks like we haven't checked in on Lou Hardy's team. What's going on here with what looks to be one player? Sadly, no pop off. Yoru is right. Sadly, none. What looks to be Team 20 getting a revive here. Lou Hardy getting a bit greedy. Goes in, gets taken out by Natalie. With them also losing another player. Unfortunately, Team 20 gets taken out. Element 36 fully taken out. Lou Hardy's team cat caught it right at the end again. That's what I'm kind of known for as a caster. <laughs> they get. I'm gonna take some beautiful shots onto Orange from what it looks like. Let's quickly, if we can, very fast, get a listen in onto what Team Orange is doing right now. Can you push it? Can you push with me? Vamos crack the bat. Yeah, because they're gonna rest. One low, one low, one low, one low. This is last, last guy, last guy. Behind me, behind me. Oh, very, very well played. One player, but they did manage to win. As I said, Team 2 sadly pushing into a close quarter location like that with the Watson ultimate, Watson fences down. There's not much you can really do in that scenario. You kind of just get messed over and you have to push in to a brick wall, basically. So sadly, they get taken out there. But on the bright side, Team 2 did manage to make Team 1 lose a player. So now team one is only a duo. This is going to be really, really close on what goes down next. Team 11 sitting in a nice location here. But with that being said, uh, VNR, you know, they're sitting in a building themselves here. Main building. The only building that's about to be in this final zone. Now, if I remember correctly, the zone that we've had right now is a zone that me and a few of my mates had before where you basically play this outer circle area right about here where team two is currently playing but again with the many teams surrounding him thrifty still living on being scared out of his mind knowing there's a team can look to his left and get him killed in any minute Lou Hardy's team knows this is a duo. They send after him. Shots going out by Orange. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Orange is about to go down. Shots coming out from Watson. Cracking Lou Hardy. Chaos gets cracked as well. But unfortunately, 
had, but still a bit of shield remaining, gets the finish up onto team one. But again, ladies and gentlemen, look who it is. Thrifty, managing to ride his way to the very, very end again. With what looks to be team six and team 12, about to take a fight. One in the top floor, one in the bottom floor. Lou Hardy's team over here in the corner and Thrifty having to move now. Probably gonna get seen by Lou Hardy's team. There's not much Lou Hardy can do because he's not much Thrifty can do because he's caught in the open. They know he's there. They know of his whereabouts. Him trying to move into zone somewhere safe. He's placed behind a rock, getting there safely. But it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, they know. They know he's alone. They know Thrifty's alone, so they don't have to really worry about them. And look at that zone. It's literally pulling the exact same way. So it looks like Chaos's team slash Lou Hardy is in the best place. They don't have to get greedy here. They can sit right where they are and get away with the W here. They have to move out to them. With what looks to be one player sitting in this corner. One team in the bottom here. These guys contesting each other. Trying to do some damage to each other. To maybe get away with a bit less stress. But with all this being said. Chaos's team from what the zone looks like. It looks like they're going to be the best location for this. Ladies and gentlemen. This is a very very intense final game. We'll see what happens very very shortly here. Thrifty. My poor guy, he's still sitting in the corner, not knowing what to do, scared out of his mind with zone six, final zone about to move in. People have to move. We have Thrifty being locked out here by what looks to be Tad, if I'm correct. Yes, he is. Tad is locking on that door, knowing Thrifty's to his left, most likely, and Thrifty has to move or he is screwed. Dropping a Moby respawn just to have a little bit of a mess around. People sitting inside this building for remaining. Thrifty has a little bit of time here before he has to move. With the Moby Res going down for a little bit extra cover, this final round is going to be super interesting. Thrifty has to move slowly here, but I think he's going to get spotted. That simple fence right there to this guy's right is saving Thrifty from being killed in this instant. But from what it looks like, it looks like Thrifty has been spotted, but he gets around the building taking a long long way and oh my god thrifty making it to the end unfortunately he gets caught out in a bad location being spotted by lou hardy again lou hardy spotting a team them getting into the air getting away from the bang ultimate everything goes down here it's now or never ladies and gentlemen with chaos in probably one of the best positions you can have for this final zone that entire building is about to get engulfed so there's nowhere for them to go with many shots going out looks like team six is caught in a massive cluster in a massive cluster of bullets and grenades and ultimates one goes down on team six what's gonna happen here team two team six get taken out and it looks like team lou hardy wins again the final game of today's matches ladies and gentlemen